Every time a year comes to an end, I make new plans to move past the old me. As long as I can remember, I've always had this urge to become the best possible version of myself, and a new year just seemed like a really good excuse for a reset. The thing is, this desire to become better did not come from a healthy place. You see, I was never really happy with where I was. My current life never seemed enough compared to the possibility of the future I could live in. But 2021 was different. This was the year I finally fell in love with myself. For the first time in my life, I saw myself as who I was and accepted the person that I was. And for the first time, I actually got to experience what it's like to be in the moment. And so, this video is for all the ups and downs I went through, all the lessons I learned, all the tears I shed, and all the love I shared in 2021. I'm not gonna lie, the year did have a rocky start. I remember I was freaking out about turning 21. You know, I had these expectations of myself that by the time I was 21, I'd had so much more things accomplished. But that wasn't the case, and in the beginning, it was pretty hard to face the hard truth. But as time went by, I began to realize that it was pointless to be obsessed over age. There was no right or wrong way to live life, and everybody was on a different timeline. So as long as I could say to myself that I did my best at the time, that's all that mattered. Alongside this quote-unquote existential crisis, I was also on a healing journey. I realized I had a few emotional trauma I needed to heal. You know, unknowingly, I easily fell in this trap of blaming myself for every single thing. I think the biggest reason was lack of self-love. You know, I was giving all this love to other people when in fact I wasn't even loving myself. So, I did what I needed to do. I put myself as my number one priority. I listened to what I wanted, I checked on my mental health, and I tried to get in touch with my inner child. And I really tried to be kind to myself. But this was not a linear journey. Now, so many times, I felt like I was going back to zero. This healing that everybody was talking about never seemed to come. One minute I was happy, and later, I felt sad. Looking back, I now know that healing is not linear. But if you zoom out and see the whole process, it is in fact going upward. Even if you feel like you're going backwards, you're not, because you're going to bounce back from a better place than you did last time. At least that's what happened with me. As time went by, I found myself responding to similar situations differently from how I used to react. There were many more happy days and sad days, and that was progress. To be completely honest, there are still times when old patterns jump out now and then. But now, I'm proud to say that I'm at a place where I'm genuinely happy and grateful for my life. Now that I felt whole and happy being alone, the space for other people to be in my life opened up. I missed hanging out with people and I wanted to make new friends. And I did. Very unexpected, but this year I made so many amazing friends. I had my first Halloween party with them, we worked out together, we had picnics. It was such a joy to hang out with like-minded friends. You know, I've always wondered how I was going to make meaningful friendships after high school, but I guess you do meet your people. Also, I fell in love. I met a guy with the sweetest soul, you guys, and I think there's definitely so much you can feel and learn from sharing your life with someone else, and that is another level of happiness. With him, I feel so free and comfortable being myself. He loves me for who I am, he sees me as I am, and I feel safe discussing my feelings openly without fear of judgment. We're able to talk through whatever issues that come up, and I feel like I'm in the most healthiest and loving relationship I've ever been in. I feel like we're both growing as a person and as a couple in this relationship, and 
honestly, what can I ask for more, you know? So, babe, if you're watching, thank you so much for being in my life. I love you. This year, I also dabbled back in painting. I decided to paint over this huge ass closet in my room. I first painted the closet white to make it a blank canvas. I just moved my bed and my bed table. So I have some space in front of my closet now. We're gonna work on this part first, which I have already drawn some sketches. It was a pretty big project for me, considering that the last time I picked up a brush, it was like in high school, like five years ago. I think looking back, the hardest part for me was making the first move, the first stroke. I had this fear that I wouldn't be able to meet my expectations and I would mess up. And so I would just procrastinate and not draw it at all. But once I made the first move, everything else just followed. Hi guys, so I have this trunk ready. So I think I'm gonna go with this kind of vibe. By the way, I am in no way a professional in art. I don't know anything about art. I'm just doing as I go. So I got these colors. Let's do it. project was to bring more nature into my room and I think I did a pretty good job. I also gave myself the chance to act out on one of my childhood dreams which was to learn acting. Guys I'm on my way to my first acting class ever. I'm just so excited. It feels like the biggest itch is gone like this has been my dream i've been dreaming of this moment for 10 years right now i'm so happy so content i feel a little high as well like i feel like i'm high on serotonin right now i've always had doubts you know whether i'd be able to fully soak into the situation and act you know not caring about other people not caring about the surroundings but i could you guys i could i could and it, we have to do what we love like we have to Although I had to pause my classes after two months because of college workload, this was one of the most eye-opening experience I've ever had. So when I first started that year, I started off with a lot of anxiety about not having everything figured out. But now I realize that it's all a journey. And this is a journey you're never going to be off of. Like it's our life. You know, we learn new things about ourselves from time to time, and along the way, we grow in and out of ourselves. I'd like to believe that I am evolving as a person, like I want to grow. So I guess I'm just accepting the fact that change is natural, and as much as it's scary, I think I'm slowly understanding that uncertainty can be seen as a beautiful thing if we look at it from that perspective. And also this year, I realized that I'm making a choice to love myself when I make peace with who I am right now. When I'm able to look at my flaws and just kind of be okay with it, you know, smile or just kind of brush it off and not hate myself to the guts for it, that itself is a huge progress for me. So as much as I love self-development, I realized that in terms of self-love, acceptance comes first. Obviously, it's something I have to remind myself of time to time because old habits, they do have their way of coming up, but it's a process. And yeah, I'm not rushing myself anymore. I'm just seeing things as I go. I'm learning things and I'm just grateful that I am here, you know, experiencing life. So yeah, I know I'm like a month late for this video, but I really thought 2021 deserved a good send off and I'm really glad that I got to do that. And before I go, I just really wanted to say thank you so much, you guys, for being a part of my 2021. I know I haven't been that active on YouTube last year, but I really appreciate you guys being here. And yeah, I'm just super grateful for you guys. <laughs> um, on that note, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you guys have the best day ever and I'll see you guys very, very soon.